Good afternoon from the Florida Mall and the Crayola experience. This is something that is entirely new to me. I have never been inside of this particular attraction ever before. It's fairly new to the Orlando area too. Basically, it is a place devoted to Crayola crowns. Let's go check it out. Very colorful in here. And it smells like crayons right away as soon as you come in. They have the definition of Crayola over here. It's kind of neat. And then if you look, they have, I guess the founders of Crayola have been photoshopped with the crown mascot, crayon mascot. Kind of interesting. Huh. All of the ticket window desks are made up of the tips of crayons. I'm sorry, I don't say crowns correctly. Crayons? I got my ticket. It was $23.99. And I guess kids under two are free. But everybody else, $23.99. If you want an annual pass, it's only $30.99. As soon as I walked in, they gave me this bag with two coins inside of it. I don't know what those two coins are for. I'm sure we'll find out by the end of the day. Oh, I love it when we look at science as soon as we go in. There's all the different wavelengths of light. First thing we do is we go upstairs. There are elevators available but we're just taking the stairs here. I really like the color green of these stairs. Everything's such a fun color in here. Whoa, check this out. I don't know what it is. It's called Wrap It Up. It looks like there's a little kiosk here that you go up to and you wrap it up. Make your own Crayola label. Ooh, well that sounds interesting. Let's find a different color and we'll put our token in and we'll make our own label. Here we go, Wild Strawberry. I'm gonna insert my token. I'm gonna make a label for Wild Strawberry. Do we want it to be a shape? How do I, oh, okay. There's lots of different, oh my goodness gracious. Aliens, all right, good. There's an alien up there, perfect. I wanted to say the Tim Tracker. And then I'm gonna say red. Yeah, all right, I like it. Yeah, do you guys like it? I like it, let's print it. All right, there it goes, it's getting sent off. And then a crown should pop out. Oh, look, there's the crown. And here's our label. Nice. Place your crown on this slot right here. And then I slide the handle now. Hurt. Hurt. Oh, it, it did it. Look at that. We have our own crown with an alien on it. Well, that was fun. Like we made our own crown. First thing we did. Here it is, the world's largest Crayola crown. Look at this thing. It's. Is this a real, like that's what a crown, I could draw with that if I was a giant? Do you guys think? <gasps> that's pretty amazing, it's pretty impressive too. Look at this thing, how big is it? It weighs 1,500 pounds? Holy macaroni, that's a lot. It's 15 foot 7.2 inches long. There's a section over here called Modeling Madness where you can come and you can get your own clay. You have to buy it though. You do have to pay money for the clay here. And then you can use all of the different things that they have here on the tables to make your clay into different shapes. This section, there are iPads in here. It says Art Alive. You draw something and it goes up on the screen. What do you guys say we draw something? Let's start it. Okay, swipe. Oh, a turtle. Crab, I'm gonna put a crab up there. But what color should he be? He should be this color, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did I, oh, I'm coloring him, right? I'm a master crab colorer. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna have him multiply. Done. Go find your design. Where's, oh, where's my crab? That's my crab. He's not as colorful as he was on my screen. Also, when does he start to multiply like I asked him to? This is neat. All along the walls, they have different historic ads for Crayola. So this one was in 1958. This one's from 1961. This one's from 1934. This is amazing. I like this a lot. Well, there's Spanky, Spanky McFarlane. There's an area over here called Doodle in the Dark. It looks like they give you some sort of like neon colors here. I'm not left-handed, by the way. Oh, look at how fun that is. Tim. It's kind of good for being left-handed, right? Look at this, there's just like a machine that brings the balls up to the top. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff happening in this machine. If I grab one of these, then, oh no, it's not made for adult hands. You put it up there, then it goes back into the pit. Whoa, look at this. There is a giant play area here in the center that looks like a bunch of really tall crowns and markers. There's another smaller play area over here in Toddler Town for the smaller kids. 
There's a giant light bright over there. So many things to do here. Look at this. There's just a huge drawing area where they have tons upon tons of different crayons. Here's Scribble Square where everything can be written on, including the floor. You can write on the floor. You can draw on the cars. You can draw on the walls. There's so many different places to draw and write and color. We're going to draw on the wall. Uh, smiley face. Got to give him a nose. Got to give him some hair. Right? Oh yeah, he looks like a rock star from the 80s, doesn't he? Got to give him some ears. I'm also doing this with my left hand and looking through the viewfinder of the camera to do it. There he is. Let's name him Harold, the exclamation point. There he is. He needs an arrow pointing so people know that that's Harold. There's a trading post over here that sells wax hands, fudge, pucker powder, which is just like sour sugar and all kinds of different flavors, and then candy by the pound from Dylan's candy bar. Wow, but look at this fudge. That fudge looks real delicious. I could go for some fudge right now. Oh, this is pretty neat. There's an area over here called Color Magic where you color a drawing here at this table and then put it underneath the camera in front of the computer and it animates your drawing. Let's give it a try. So we have to color an ogre here. This is gonna take a long time, isn't it? BRB, there's our ogre, the most beautiful blue ogre ever. Is this how it works? Okay, I did it. Push start, place the coloring page here. There he is. Now remove the coloring magic page. Okay, I didn't read any of that. What kind of background do we want? We want, he needs to be in the forest because, oh, look at him, there he is. There's our ogre in the forest. He looks pretty cool too. There are so many different areas here. Like here's one called U Design. I don't know what you're doing there. Rock and paper over here. There's some party rooms over yonder. They're playing like hockey on the ground. And then Adventure Lab. The lab's in colorful trouble and it's up to you to save the day. There's a large section over here called Drip Art where you can make a spun piece of art with different color by melting different colored crayons. Or there's something called melt and mold over here. I don't know, this one seems a little bit more interesting. You can melt down crayons and form them into different shapes like a car or a ring. Ooh, I think I might do this one. Picked green as my colored crayon that I'm gonna melt down and shape into another shape. I'm gonna make a shark. A green shark. Crayon in and then we're gonna go boop. And that's gonna go Wow, but it's just dripping into the mold. Look at that. Ooh, you got a cool Christmas shark. Oh, they also have a place where you can eat here. So you can get pizza or you can get salads or you can get hot dogs or pizza, it looks like. Well, and then you can get snacks over here. It looks like we've got pretzel, hummus, hot dog, brownies. Pretty good. And the price really isn't that bad. But I guess it is, it is just hot dogs and pizza. This place is called Meltdown, where it looks like they've got melted crowns down in here. And you stick a stick in there. And then you can write on a piece of paper that they give you with the melted crayons. Oh, this is kind of fun. Ooh, I'm making art. Look at that. I'm an artist. Ooh, look at this. Look, I made that. This is my creation. Brilliant. Well, now that we know, let's go make some drip art too. For the spin art, I picked pink and purple. First color. Yeah. Shut that door. And then this is fast and this is slow. When that light turns green, open it up with the second color and pull. Okay, thank you. Mm, oh, oh, it's doing it. We are slow. Oh no, we want to be fast. It's a pretty speed. A little bit faster. And then we'll put in the other color when the light turns green. Color number two, going in. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh, look at it changing color. We're gonna have a really cool design. Look at my design. It is beautiful. Wow. This is worthy of hanging on the wall. Look at how beautiful that is. You can tell it's beautiful by this screaming. So I found out what you design is. What you do is you color all the different aspects of a character, like here is a lady and you color her dress front and back and you put it in the light there underneath the computer and it takes and it puts your character up on the screen and they do a fashion show. There's also another one with cars where you color all the different sides of the cars and it puts the cars up on the screen. Rock and paper actually looks really fun. We can color a frog and you put it on the stage using some giant paper clips here. and then I think it dances. There he is, there's my frog. He is ready to boogie down. Oh, I'm ready. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, whoa. Look at him 
go. That is one hip dancing frog. Here he goes. Big finish. The Adventure Lab actually looks kind of cool for a group of people. I'm not going to go in and do it today. I think we'll have to come back and do it maybe one time with me and Jen. Kind of looks like an escape room based on crowns. And then, of course, when you're all done, you have to exit through the gift shop. Lots and lots of Crayola stuff. This whole wall of color here. And those are just all of the different colors that you can buy in the washable markers. And it shows what year they were introduced, too. This is actually pretty cool. They say that these are only available here. This is the only spot that you can buy these Crayola shirts and sweatshirts. And I like that they're tie-dyed. These vintage Crayola shirts are pretty amazing. I like them a lot. Look at this one. So there you have it. That was our trip to the Crayola experience. It was a lot of fun. It was very cheap, like $24 to get in or $30 or $31 if you want an annual pass to come back as many times as you want to during the year. There wasn't a whole lot to do there, but it definitely would be a good way to spend a rainy afternoon here in Central Florida if you've got small children. And this is again in the Florida Mall. So with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Paula. And I'm Frank. And now, now it's time, time to pay the, pay the price. price.